Hi guys, I'm Suzanne with Backyard University here to answer the question, what are sweat bees and are they helpful? When it comes to bees, sweat bees stand alone. They are solitary insects, not having a colony to rely on. They are relatively small at about three to 10 millimeters long and come in various black or metallic colors from bright green to yellow. Sweat bees get their name because they are attracted to human sweat, although it's not really the sweat in as much as the salt the humans secrete while sweating that gives them the necessary minerals that nectar fails to do. If sweat bees have found their way into your backyard, you may want to wait before you call an exterminator or use harsh chemicals you may want to know a little bit more about them. First, sweat bees are indiscriminate pollinators. In fact, their entire existence is to pollinate each and every flower they see, making them a favorite for fruit and vegetable farmers. They are non-aggressive in nature, and if one stings, it's usually the female who feels trapped. Most gardeners try to attract a sweet bees rather than deter them, but they can become a nuisance when an infestation occurs. If you want to keep sweat bees around for your garden, but you aren't too keen on them enjoying you while you're sunbathe or you host a family barbecue, some repellents will work to keep everyone happy. They nest in the ground enjoying places with rotting wood. Therefore, keeping your yard free and clear of debris is a deterrent. Keep the grounds covered, filling in flower beds and mulch and including herbs that will repel insects, such as mint, will help keep the sweat bees under control. Sweat bees will use burrows or holes on your property to nest. So make sure that you inspect your property and fill any holes. If you're looking to keep sweat bees in your garden and out of your deck area, we have some suggestions. First, make sure there is airflow. If your yard isn't set up for natural breezes, you may wish to think about investing in some fans. Sweat bees don't like to be blown away. Many outside decks now have ceiling fans that will give enough breeze to keep these sweat bees away. A more economical option is by placing a tower fan. You can also use scents to repel sweat bees. You can use plants to repel them, oils, diffusers, sprays, and even candles. A few of the scents that they don't like are citronella, peppermint oils, lavender oils, citrus smells such as lemon and lime, and oils that block the smell of sweat like olive oil and vegetable oil. When using oils to repel sweat bees on your patio, you may wish to use a diffuser made for large areas that blend with the outside. Unfortunately, sweat bees not only enjoy your garden and patio, but they also enjoy you. Remember, they get their name from sapping up your sweat. While that does sound gross, they need the salt in our sweat. Some of us may not mind feeding these insects, and while they're usually harmless, if you disturb them like other bees, they will sting. Thankfully, their sting will hurt less than any other type of bee, but nonetheless, it will hurt. Plus, if you're allergic to bee stings, you will be allergic to the sweat bees. If you're one that doesn't want to run the risk of being stung, here are a few steps you can take to keep them off you. First, shower after activities such as working out, mowing, etc. Use bug repellent and cover up. Limit the amount of skin you're exposing and that will keep them at bay. If you have any other backyard questions, click the link below to some of our other videos. We've also supplied links to mention products and don't forget to like and subscribe.